Hello everybody, Tech Guy Charlie here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your computer ready for Windows 11 by enabling TPM 2.0 and secure boot on an MSI motherboard running an AMD Ryzen CPU. Also, TPM on AMD platform is known as FTPM or Firmware Based Trusted Platform Module. And yes, this works perfectly fine for Windows 11. I'll show you that in just a bit. And the motherboard I've got is the MSI MEG X570As. It's paired with a third gen Ryzen CPU. And the procedure should be identical across every MSI board with an AMD chipset. So even if you have a non X570 board, you can still watch this video and enable FTPM on your computer. Anywho, let's begin. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is enter into the BIOS. For that, we will restart the computer. Now, as soon as you see this screen, hit the Dell key on the keyboard and that will take you to the BIOS settings. And there you go, we are now in the BIOS. So the first thing we will do is enable TPM or as AMD likes to call it, FTPM. For that, tap on settings, then go to security, then tap on trusted computing and over here, enable security device support. And that's it, that will turn on TPM. Now we need to exit the BIOS, so save configuration and exit. Yes. Okay, so now after re-entering into the BIOS, go back into Trusted Computing and it should look something like this. That means now TPM is enabled on the computer. The second thing that you need to do is enable Secure Boot. For that, go back into the settings. Over here, go into Advanced. Then go to Windows OS Configuration. Then change this option from CSM to UEFI. Now before you can change the secure boot option, we will need to restart the computer. So save this first and let the computer restart and then we will go back into the BIOS. So once we are back into the BIOS, go to settings, then tap on advanced, then Windows OS configuration, then tap on secure boot and enable this feature. Okay, so as you can see, we are getting a prompt which says system in setup mode. Secure boot can be enabled when system is in user mode. Repeat operation after installing platform key. Now the way I was able to fix this is by clicking on secure boot mode and changing it from standard to custom. After restarting your PC, go back into the secure boot mode and change it from custom to standard. Again, you will get a prompt install factory default. Just click on yes. You will get a second prompt reset without saving. I selected no and as you can see that changes the system mode from setup to user and finally we will now be able to enable secure boot so now we will exit the BIOS and save all of our settings and wait for Windows to restart all right so we are now back in Windows now how do you check if TPM and secure boot are enabled or not well it is very easy press and hold the start menu button and press R to open up run now to check if TPM is enabled or not, type in tpm.msc and hit enter. And in this window, you should see the TPM is ready for use. That means TPM is enabled and ready to go. And it says over here specification version 2.0. So it is TPM 2.0 manufacturer AMD. And finally to check secure boot, again press the start button and hit R. Now type in msinfo32 and hit enter. Now in this window under secure boot state, it should say on. That means secure boot is now enabled on your system. And that is it. Now we can install Windows 11 on this machine because secure boot and TPM both are now enabled. So check this out guys. After enabling those two features, I was able to install Windows 11 without having any issues. And this is build number 22000.120. So yes, Windows 11 is working just fine on the native hardware of this PC, although it is installed on a separate SSD because I really don't want to mess up my current installation of Windows 10. But I wanted to show you guys that FTPM does work fine for Windows 11. Anyways, thanks for watching this video guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below and I'll try and answer them. And if this video was helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.